There were those who said that man would never fly. Those who gazed into the heavens and said that we would never walk on the moon. Others who wondered why anyone would need a computer in their home. And the many who couldn't imagine a world not connected by wires. History is full of visionaries who encountered naysayers, doubters, and disbelievers. Those who sought out their own paths and followed their dreams. And while others stood still, they moved forward. Today there are those who believe that energy cannot be clean and affordable. That we cannot meet the needs of everyone, everywhere. But with conviction, invention, and perseverance, we can do amazing things. Our visions can be realized. Our problems can be solved. We can change the face of energy. We can change the world. A very good morning to you all. Wow. What a thrill. What a pleasure. I have a very special gentleman to introduce to you. Our honorable governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's been a visionary leader. Somebody who's shaping the future of energy, not just for California, but for the whole world. Without his leadership, companies like Bloom will not be able to thrive. Bloom and all the new energy companies are eternally grateful to this gentleman who is a true pioneer in the land of pioneers. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, our governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, thank you very much, Kayar, for the nice introduction. And I love hanging out with this guy. <laughs> because I'm not the only one with an accent. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Love it. Another great immigration, immigrant story here. Uh, anyway, I just want to say uh, also welcome to Secretary George Schultz, where is, uh, George is sitting right over here. My very good friend, George, it's always great to see you especially since you're always trying to outdo me with your ties. So, I mean, uh, uh, it's great to see you. Let's give him a big hand uh, <laughs> being here today. <laughs> and then, of course, another secretary and general, and general, Colin Powell. Let's give him a big, big hand also. <laughs> I'm a big fan also of Colin because I tell you why, because besides all the great work that he has done as Secretary of State and uh, when he was in charge of the military and all this, but when I was the chairman of the President's Council on Physical Fitness, I asked him for support when we did the big workouts out in front of the White House. And he always came with his whole troops and everything and went around to all the exercise stations and really supported me. So I just want to say thank you so much for this great support that you've given me. You have been such a great friend. Thank you very much. We also have here Assemblyman Blakesley. Assemblyman Blakesley right here in the front. Let's give him a big hand. <laughs> then Assemblyman Beal. Assemblyman Beal, a big hand for Assemblyman Beal. And Mayor Chuck Reed. Where's Mayor Chuck Reed? Right here. Thank you. Now, uh, this is not the first time I've been here at Bloom Energy because I was here in 2006 when it just was getting started. And I was here with Mayor Bloomberg, as a matter of fact, and uh, I saw that it was then already a growing company and a company that's going to create a lot of action. Uh, as a matter of fact, at that time, you had 10 manufacturing jobs. 
now you have 200 manufacturing jobs, if I'm uh, not mistaken. And I think you said that it's going to be this year, by end of this year, 350 manufacturing jobs. So let's give them a big hand for that great, great growth right there. Now, 160 years ago, thousands of gold rushes flocked to the West to risk failure and search of greatness. Now, of course, those brave souls all uh, died in the meantime, but the spirit that they brought to the West, uh, to California, is still alive, and we can see this with Bloom Energy. Uh, some of the spirit, the optimism, the daring has been the foundation of California. Uh, it's why we became the entertainment capital of the world, uh, the high technology capital of the world, the biotechnology capital of the world, the aerospace uh, capital of the world, and now the green technology capital of the world. Today, we gather to celebrate the innovation and the bold vision of one of California's shining stars, which is Bloom Energy. Bloom's fuel cell technology, which you will hear more about very soon, uh, has a, a potential to revolutionize the energy industry. It produces safe, reliable power that is 60% cleaner than a coal-fired power plant. 60% cleaner. And it produces that power on site. You don't need transmission lines. You don't have to put it on a grid or anything where, again, a lot of energy gets wasted. But you just have it right there at your building, at your office building or government building, whatever it is. In fact, this eBay campus here has been powered by five Bloom boxes since July. Five of them. Now, the Wall Street Journal calls it today the mystery boxes, uh, which is good. Keep it a mystery. Don't give it away. Uh, but those 500 kilowatt systems has already saved the company here $100,000 in just this few months. When people think of clean energy, they should think not just of solar or of geothermal or of hydro or wind or any of those things alone, but they also should think of Bloom Energy. So let me congratulate KR and the entire Bloom team for their work. Terrific work. Let's give them again a big, big hand for the great work. Now, here's the reason why California is leading the clean tech revolution. That is because we saw its awesome potential and we took action. We passed legislation, AB 32. The, thank you. The Million Solar Roof Program, the Low Carbon Fuel Standard, Renewable Energy Standards, the Hydrogen Highway, and the list goes on and on. We are doing what government does best, passing laws and setting standards for the public good, and then get out of the way so that you can do what you do best. A wave of green innovation is washing all over the state of California. As a matter of fact, the Wall Street Journal calls it the new California gold rush. California attracts more clean venture capital uh, than the rest of the nation. As a matter of fact, last year it was 57% of the venture capital came right here to California. And we are proving What's good for the environment is also good for the economy. Since 2005, green jobs in California have grown 10 times faster than other areas. When I visited Bloom uh, just uh, in 2006, we saw, and I said earlier, it was a little company, but now it exploded, even in a recession. Even in a recession, it's the biggest recession since the Great Depression. This company is growing. And these are green jobs of the future, and we want that future, and we want those jobs right here in California. And that is why I am proposing a job package that includes a proposal to exempt the purchase of green technology manufacturing equipment from the sales tax. This would... This would help businesses like Bloom expand and create jobs. And the day I call on the legislature once again and ask him to, uh, to pass my job package so that we can go and create those jobs, next, not next month or next year, but right now. We need jobs, jobs, jobs right now. In closing, let me just once again congratulate Bloom Energy on its great, great success. This is a success that is now known all over the world. And so California is proud to claim you as one of our own. So now, please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome the, founding, the founder and the CEO of Bloom Energy, KR. Please come up and say a few words.
I'm going to just so they can get some pictures Absolutely. of the Bloom Energy as that. Exactly. Blue Energy box. Exactly. Blue Blue energy energy box. Exactly. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. I'm ready to go. Sorry. Yeah. So.